What is up everybody, Zeusitus here. Um, welcome, this is my setup video. So, my setup isn't the best setup, it's just, you know, to get through YouTube and gaming. So, because I don't have a lot of money. So it's just really cheap stuff or cheap setups. And it just gets me through YouTube, so let's get started. So, as you see, this is my bedroom. <laughs> so, just my, like, my nightstand right there, my bed. All this stuff. This used to be my um, sister's room, so the walls are yellow and all that. And my hand just went in front of the camera. This is my nice hand. My other guitar. Sadly, I do not know how to play a guitar, so I wish I could. So this is the setup. My nice little office chair right here. So um, I have I have a fan right there because it's like my room is the hottest room in the whole house. Um, I have a little table right here to make my desk a bit seem a bit longer, even though it doesn't match, of course, to um, use my laptop when I'm streaming or something. I can look at Twitch and see comments and all that stuff. And like always, I will put my computer specs and the peripherals, basically like accessories and stuff, um, in the description below if you want to buy them or know the name of them. So let's just sit down. This is my Pavilion G6 series laptop. It's not the best, but it's okay for gaming. I just use it now for on trips and stuff like that. And right here I have a blue snowball. This is like the best one out there based on other people. And I really love this mic. It's clear, the volume's really high. I can be sitting three feet away from it. Um, like one day. I had my phone two feet away from it, literally two feet away from it. I had my phone on low, and this is dude thought I had my phone right in front of the microphone. So I can hear at a really good distance, and it's a really good microphone. Spent about $50 on it. And I used to use Turtle Beaches until the other day I, I found these. My friend gave me these a long time ago. They actually sound a bit better than Turtle Beaches, but they're really low. Like, they're not the best volume. So as you see, this is my main monitor. I have all of my programs and stuff. This is my wallpaper. And it is a Dell monitor. It, it looks really nice. The display is really nice. And for my second monitor, I had to do this crazy setup to get um, HDMI to DVI stuff and wait for that to come in the mail so I could use my old TV as a second monitor and like I said it's it's really not that good but it's all I can do at the moment so yeah I just use this save from recording on this screen I will put OBS on this screen so I can see what's recording right here I have an iPhone dock speaker but I also plug it into my computer when I want um, um, a speaker instead of wearing headphones and it sounds really good and it's really really loud so I can't afford a gaming a gaming um, keyboard, but I spent about fifteen dollars on this cheap keyboard. It's a Lenovo keyboard. Um, the main reason why I got it was because my Dell keyboard was flat, and this you can't really see it on the video, but the keys kind of wave upward, and that's what I like about the keyboard. As you can see, it's kind of made for Windows 8 a little bit. It's not focusing. And, um, this just came in the mail. Originally, I was using a notebook. A notebook has a mouse pad. Um, I have a HP mouse, wireless, but it's starting to get really, like, laggy because I put my computer down on the ground. And now I'm using this. It's a really, really small mouse, as you can see. It's like I'm just using the tips of my fingers, but it's, it's not bad to use. Like, it's not other small mouses that I just hate holding. It's actually comfortable and camera doesn't want to focus so this is the USB I use for my PS4 well my dad's PS4 it's in his room so when he's not on it I will record and then when I'm done I plug the USB in there to take the videos off because I don't have a recording soft thing like Elgato or any of that stuff this is my desk I honestly hate these colors, but my dad picked this out and I didn't I didn't go with him to pick it out. 
So yeah, this is my desk right here. Um, really huge drawers, that's what's convenient about it, so I can put a lot of stuff in here. If you see, it's just junk in here. These are my old turtle beaches that I was using. They're not the best. They look broken right now, but they're not. But those somehow are better than the turtle beaches, in my opinion. And this is just other devices, like an Xbox controller right there. A PlayStation 3 Xbox controller. Um, hard drive, all that extra stuff. So let's get on to the best part of this is probably the computer. So as you see, I have the case is I believe a Cooler Master. It has one fan right here, two fans on top, and one fan on the back. And as you saw at the beginning, um, you saw the inside of it. There's a little disc tray right here. All the this is where I have the headphones plugged in. Two USB ports. I don't know what that is. This is the lights for the fans. As you see, this well only for the front actually. It only works for the front. Um, power button, and this was like what is it? A hard drive restart button that broke because there's the hard drive isn't even under that. The the um the optical drive was under it so that just broke off because there was nothing under it so it basically just fell through. And this I my um I don't have a Wi-Fi card in my computer, so I have to use a Netgear USB. Which Windows hates, like Windows will turn it off all the time, Windows 8. And I use this to get my internet and actually without it my laptop probably would get like 40 and with it this gets like 60. So I really love this computer. It's pre-built. I got it at a pawn shop for a really, really good price. I looked it up probably about a few thousand, a few hundred dollars, but um, older. It's older stuff, so it probably would be less than that. But I have a GTX 260, a really old graphics card, but it does for now. Um, what else? My motherboard is an Asus. Asus, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, other people pronounce it Asus, and other people pronounce it Asus, but I just say Asus. Um, I have an Asus motherboard with a huge Pentium chip, it's like, as you saw, it was huge, it was just in the way of everything, but, um, I have four cores, it's a AMD Phenom, um, X, what is it, let me just go to my control panel real quick system right there. I have an AMD Phenom 2 X4965 processor with 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes. I wanted to upgrade it and at least bring it to 16, but I was told I wouldn't be able to see a difference. So I'll just wait on the RAM. Probably get a new graphics card or motherboard first. And currently, if anyone out there, you know, really knows a lot about computers, this part's for you, this is like the, you know, the, yep, open. So this is what I use to just see the basic stuff. So uh, my core speed is 3,774 3, megahertz. All that stuff. People usually have way higher than that. Computers like mine. But yeah. So this really is a good computer for gaming, except the graphics card holds me back by a lot. And this is my gaming setup, it's not focusing at the moment. But yeah, this is my gaming setup, I hope you guys like this video. Um, oh yeah, and I have my C, my Logitech um, C270 webcam, I bought it for about like thirty something dollars. I use it in my gaming videos. So um you guys may be wondering, I'm really, really cheap because I don't have enough money to, you know, buy a green screen. So as you saw I got a piece of cardboard that I wasn't using and put a bunch of yellow yellow construction paper on it because I don't usually wear anything yellow. So that was the only thing that worked. And, yeah, 
this is basically a, a cheap setup. The computer bought it for six hundred dollars. I paid three hundred, my dad paid the rest. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. This is my gaming setup, my current one. So thank you for watching.